You're a sick person. This is awful. Who thought this would be the fun idea? Hi guys, and welcome back to the next episode of Minecraft SOS. And today we have some things we need to do. As you'll remember, a couple of weeks ago, we all had to build different things at spawn and get people to say their books. And one of the things that Pex built was a wonderful nether hub. But I'm not connected to it. If we come all the way down here and pop through our little nether portal, you can see that we kind of are in the middle of nowhere. Oh, there's a gas. I'm going to stay away from you. But if I free cam up here, you can see this is the hub with Flips Tunnel. So I need to somehow connect this to that, which is going to be a pain, I think. I will do it. So like Fwip has used blocks from his builds and area to do his tunnel, I think we should do the same. Which means I'm going to need a lot of spruce wood, oak wood, and some moss. And I thankfully have quite a bit of moss, thanks to Fwip. And thanks to me streaming the other day, I also have a bunch of spruce wood and a bunch of oak wood. Now another thing we did the other day on stream was we went netherite mining. Because I don't have any and I don't ever really get it, but I thought with this series I probably should. So, in this chest I have five smithing templates and ten netherite ingots. And all I need to do is take my armor and pop it in here to make some netherite. I'll get my helmet, my boots, my legs, and my chest. I also still have enough netherite to do all my tools, I just don't have the templates yet. So I'll pop that in there for now. And there we go. Look at my swanky new armor. So what I'm also going to do is take a couple fire resistance potions with me just in case. And I'm also going to take an absolute ton of stone with me. Because I imagine I'll need to make this area ugly first before I can make it pretty. And I'll make some golden bits so that I don't get attacked. Time to go. Okay, so I think we want our exit to come out this way. And I think we're going to need to go up pretty quick. So my plan is to use stone here and then I can just go around and put my nicer blocks on top of it. And I need to get up here. So I think I'm going to have to come over here a bit more and then turn on myself and start going up. And then I think I'm going to need to come out to a little flat bit and then double back on myself. And then do the same thing again, but this way. Okay, so one thing I'm realizing is Flip's tunnel is actually three white. Which is annoying. Why would you do that? Why would you make it three white? But we now have a staircase that does take us all the way up. I just now need to work on some walls for it. So my plan for the walls here is actually to do alternating spruce and oak but I'm also going to mix in like shaving some of the wood like that. This is one of those builds that I can't really plan it out anywhere so I'm just kind of having to wing it. And you don't need to worry about me using wood in the nether. Luckily the server has fire spread turned off so there's no chance of my tunnel just catching fire with us in it. So this is the kind of vibe we're going for. I'm just going to go in and shave a few of them. Just something like this. And then now what I'm going to do is on this part, I'm going to change the walls to being made of moss. I'm kind of trying to keep the kind of green cottagey core vibes and leaves I don't think will look good in the nether. But moss does. So it will begin to look something like this, curving all the way up here. And then when I get back up here, I'm going to have it turn back into the wood types just because I can then play it into what Flip's done. So if I do some oak there, maybe some here, another one there next to each other. This is one of those I'm hoping it's a trust the process kind of thing because right now this is ugly. Like it just doesn't look good. I think it will from inside, but for the moment, no. Now what I want to use for the top is actually birch. 
because I use quite a lot of birch elsewhere in my builds and I'm thinking that the birch stairs should work because if I replace all of the floor blocks it means you won't be too claustrophobic. So something like this which won't be as head hittery and then if I just grab some birch slabs and pop these along the top before I need to pivot back into the stairs. But before I can do that, I need to actually go and grab more moss because I need to make these walls one higher for the stair part. And what I can do is actually come over here and use the nether hub to get to the shops. Because around this flip here has stacks of moss. So it's one diamond is three stacks. So I can go one, two, and three. I'll pop that in there. Look at me using the nether hub on building. And that's on productivity. That was so speedy. This is great. So what I think I actually need to do is I need to make this one higher. And then from here, all of the moss also needs to go up. So now the stairs should fit without causing too many issues. And then I just need to pop on some more slabs. And then also make this moss one taller. So probably till about there. And then this is where I'm going to switch back to using some oak wood. And there we go. The tunnel is now fully secure and does work all the way down. I just need to actually put the flooring in now. And seeing as I do need something that can be turned into stairs, I'm kind of limited to woods. So what I'm actually going to do is make a bunch of oak wood stairs. I can also break all of this. And now if I dig this out, I can pop some oak wood in. And then just at these little areas, I can just pop some stairs down. I may need to just go through and tweak a few bits by adding like extra wood here. And I also do need to still strip some of this wood. It's funny, the having to go in and replace little blocks here where obviously the moss is peeking through because it's now stairs, it's actually given me an idea of something I can... I just need to finish doing the stairs first. And there we go, the tunnel is fully secure now and you can get all the way to and from spawn all connected up. I just need to do this little area, which I think I'm going to use moss for. And there we go. So now I'm just going to head back to the house and pick up a few more little things. So what I'm going to do is break a couple holes in the ceiling and then pop some glowstone in. And I'm going to pop some chair trap doors on it. Just to add a little pop of colour. Now the plan that I had when the moss was happening is I want to put in some little windows but using leaves. So you can kind of see through them and see what's on the outside there. But it's obviously not going to be made with glass and it's not going to let anything in. So I just need to go in every so often and pop some glowstone with some little chair trap doors on it. And then I just need to go in here and every so often, punch a hole, pop down some azalea leaves on either side. So there we go. This is now all lit up. I've put in the little fake windows that wrap all the way around. I think I want to add one bit of glowstone. Maybe on this level. No, the glowstone there makes you like hit your head. What I might do is I'm going to replace these windows with glowstone. And I'll pop the little trapdoors. But all in all, this has turned into a lovely little nether portal hub. And it connects all the way back up to spawn. What I want to do is also take this sign and I'm just going to put Scots slash Whips Village. The people know that this leads to both of us. And now none of my friends have an excuse not to visit me because there's a perfectly safe and adorable way to get there. So now that my portal is connected to the nether hub and we turned our armor into netherite, I think it's time we do our tools. The thing that stopped me the last time from being able to turn the rest of my tools was because I didn't have enough diamonds. But I've done a bunch of diamond mining and after finding about 27 ores, with a fortune three, I got a ton of diamonds. So now all I need to do is come over here and make some smithing upgrades. Costs a ton, but I need them. I need one more. 
Also, whoever decided to make this the new thing to get netherite, you're a sick person. This is awful. Who thought this would be the fun idea? Right, let's do our sword, our pickaxe, our axe, our shovel, our other pickaxe, and then I've got one left. And I'm kind of out of tools. I could do a hole, but I don't want to waste netherite in a hole just yet. This is the first time in like forever that I've had full netherite. I don't even think I had it on empires. I just don't tend to bother with it. But here we are, tons of hours of mining complete. And now I want to see if I can make it pretty. I don't understand how the armor trims work. So this is going to be a testing ground. So what do these do? Can I duplicate them? Oh, so I then just choose what I want to put in there. Okay, can you duplicate these? I'm confused. So I think what I need to duplicate this one is nether rack, and to duplicate the spire one is end stone. I think I actually want to go for the end one, so I just need to pop to the end to grab more end stone. And since I don't want to risk dying, I am taking the elytra. And I've seen the few of you in the comments of the last video moaning that I said I'm not using the Lytra as much and then wearing one. As I said, I'm not wearing it as much. But if I'm going to like the end or faraway places like I was looking for the sea temples, I will use it. Or if I'm in a rush to get somewhere, I'll also use it then. But if I'm only popping over to see Fwet or Eloise or even to spawn, I will use my horse or the lovely nether hub access that I now have. And before we go in here, I am putting on the Elytra. And jump in. Perfect. Now I just need some of this. I don't know how much I need. I'll just grab a bunch as I make my way back to the portal. Also, last episode where we kind of left Owen saying he was going to go and punch the Ender Dragon to death with his hand, he did it. Yeah, he, ac he actually did it and didn't die. So, I'm less worried about not getting that coin now. And a stack should do. So, if we pop in here, it should bring us back home. Yay! And now the chest plate can go on and the elytra can go back. So now I'm going to need a bunch more of my diamonds, I think, because I think I do it like this. Oh, I don't. Is it in stone bricks? It's not. I don't understand how this works. I've realized it is in fact not in stone I need and I didn't need to go in there all. It's actually purple, which I surprisingly already have quite a bit of. See, there we go. I need four of this. Or have I made seven? And how am I back down to so little diamonds? This is the worst. Right, what do we want to mix this with? Now I know I can do pretty much any ingot. So let's see what this looks like. With copper. Okay. Gold, okay. Redstone's cool. Lapis is cool. Iron's boring. I don't want iron. Copper is cool, I like the orange. Gold is cool, but I think it's a bit basic. You know, I'm actually thinking of doing copper. I'm doing it. So now, look at that! It's so cute! And I can now just pop away everything that I didn't use. And my spare armor trim's in here. And just to see what we look like fully, because we currently have the minimal armor texture pack on, this is what we look like for someone who doesn't use that. And I have to say, the copper really works. But let's get back to seeing this beautiful face. So, now that we have done ourselves the armor trims and set up the nether thing, I think it's time we work on something fun to build in the overworld. Now, for the longest time, I have been wanting to build a cherry blossom tree. I've always thought this little spot is kind of a dead spot because obviously it's the in-between area of mine and flips. There's not much use for the space. And I think a really cool big cherry blossom tree, something like there, could work quite well. Because it's not blocking my sightline of Flip's area from here. And Flip's kind of done building from this way. Like, this is the back of his builds. Anything else in the town centre and that is on the other side. So I'm not blocking too much. And even from the big window out here, you'll then see the big cherry tree and still get the glimpse of the tall towers in the Flip's area. What I'm going to need to do is actually come up the back here. I'm going to need to shear a ton of these trees. So I guess I just start going along and like shearing all the top leaves. 
What I'm going to try and do is shear the back end off it on the top and leave the front side so that these still look good from down below at my house. Like the Disney effect, you, it all looked really nice when you're walking through the park, but if you were ever in the back end off it, not great. Okay, I've got my leaves, which will hopefully be enough, so now I just need to get dark oak. I know you're like, Scott, there's cherry blossom tree wood. I don't want it. I want dark oak. So let's turn some of this into stairs. Do a bunch of trap doors. I've got some slabs. And this will hopefully be enough wood variation to make this work. Now I did mess around in a single player creative world. Just to figure out how to do this is a lot of these type of trees that I kind of have around here are very symmetrical and uniform. Which works because it looks like they're maintained and pruned. But this one is going to be a totally different shape, so I thought I'd be better testing it rather than wasting my time doing it here. So, with that out of the way, let's jump into a time lapse. And there we go! As you can see here, we have this wonderful little cherry blossom tree. It's actually one of the bigger things in the area, but I think it's worth it. And I just want to go and grab a bunch of the cherry blossom petals, which if I pop it down, I can just bone meal here just to make a bunch more. And I'm also going to grab a bunch of iron to make a couple more lanterns and to make a bunch of chains. Because I think it could be really cool here if I sort of grab some chains. And then I suspend a couple little lanterns from each side. Just like that. And now I can just go around and dot an absolute ton of these. I definitely want to keep it so they're denser at the root of the tree. Kind of like they've all fallen down and been blown away by the wind. So they get less dense the further away you get. And then we've got it like this. And now I want to just grab some stuff to do like a very simple little chair design. And then I think maybe just here, I'll do that. And then I'm just gonna pop a few posts on top. And then I'm just gonna pop down some fence gates along the top like this. I'll do some alternating slabs. And then the other ones can all just be little trap doors. And then I'm just gonna bring down some iron bars on either side. And then I'll do trapdoors like this, like that. And then I'm also just going to do three along the back and flip those up. And I'm actually going to change this to be solid blocks just so that the bars connect better. And there we go, we have an adorable little seat swing that you can sit here, look out over the view. You can also take a step back and look at it with the tree behind it. All in all, I think this was the perfect little addition to the area.